Good morning, I'm CBS4 Meteorologist Asset Gonzalez with your Tropics Update and of course all eyes on Hurricane Florence. We have the latest 11 AM advisory, Hurricane Florence is a Category 4. Hurricane hunters are going in and investigating and finding little change uh, in terms of the strength. It is still a powerful hurricane with max sustained winds of 130 miles an hour moving northwest at 15 miles an hour and forecast to move towards the Carolina coast as we get into uh, Friday morning right now it's a little tricky the forecast track is showing that Florence could be just offshore as a category 3 or could make landfall somewhere along the South Carolina or North Carolina coastline uh, into the day on Friday or it may just linger just offshore even as we get into Saturday and potentially category 2 then and then the problem is it looks to just stall out and you'll notice that cone widens up into the weekend and now includes not only the Carolinas but parts of Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, and much of the southeast that will get soaked with torrential rain. In fact, historic flooding possible. Some areas could see 25 to 35 inches of rain. So you'll notice why the, fu the future track has shifted even as early this morning a little more southward and it's because of the trend in the models and what the computer models are forecasting and that's due to the steering pattern as we have High pressure that's currently steering it, but it, there appears to be a little bit of a weakness in the steering pattern as we get into the weekend, and that's the reason that Florence will likely just hang out and just park itself over these areas, over the Carolinas and uh, parts of the southeast and into Georgia. Hurricane Florence will also lead to uh, some damaging destructive winds. The highest risk for those damaging winds that could cause power outages down trees is along the Carolina coast. And then hurricane warnings are in place for those areas as well as tropical storm watches and warnings uh, through Virginia and the border of North Carolina and Virginia. Hurricane watches in place as well for parts of South Carolina. In addition to that, life-threatening storm surge will be possible 6 to 13 feet above ground. Let's turn our attention to Tropical Storm Isaac. It is moving west, 17 miles an hour, 60 mile an hour sustained winds and headed across the Lesser Antilles, uh, likely as we head into tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon and then continuing on that westward track into the Caribbean where it will just bring some heavy rain, gusty winds, tropical storm warnings in place from Martinique to Guadeloupe, and we have tropical storm watches in place uh, for parts of the northern Lesser Antilles, Antigua, Barbuda, and so those areas already need to have, be prepared and just kind of hunker down and wait uh, for this tropical storm to move through, already having your plan in place, hopefully. So yes, the computer model's in agreement that Isaac will continue westward across the Lesser Antilles and then could be taking a west-northwest pass across Hispaniola or Jamaica, but the bulk of the models are keeping it well to our south. We'll certainly keep a close eye on Isaac. Hurricane Helene, in the meantime, out in the eastern Atlantic, moving north-northwest, is forecast to weaken into a tropical storm and could be passing near or just uh, north of the Azores. A disturbance in the south-central Gulf of Mexico does have a high potential of becoming our next tropical depression. And folks along the Texas Gulf Coast will certainly be monitoring this one as many models are indicating it will likely move west-northwest, could be headed towards Mexico or Texas. Uh, it's still too soon to say, but we'll keep you updated right here on CBSMiami.com.